Why, hello everyone, and welcome back to Planet Zoo, the Twilight Pack, where we are here at Castle Myers with one of my most fantastic builds that I have ever done. <laughs> oh, I saved you guys like an hour of going ahead and moving a whole bunch of rocks into place so that we could create none other than the flying fruit Ca uh, cafe, uh, cave cafe. There we go. The flying fruit cave cafe. Look at this, you guys. Does it look like a bit of a box with a whole bunch of rocks attached to it? Yes. Yes, it does. Could it definitely use a little bit more TLC and maybe, you know, some filling in the gaps and going ahead and adding a bunch of plants on it to add those extra details? Why, yes. Yes, it could. But you know what else is true about it? It is a money-making machine. We have finally solved that conundrum of having hungry and thirsty guests here in our uh, Castle Myers area. And how do we take care of them? This Siri asked. Well, you need to kind of feed and water them at the same time while also giving them a place to rest and putting a whole bunch of tables out. So uh, this has been my solution. Mm -hmm. I'm actually very proud of the way this looks. I went ahead and I surrounded the entire eating area with this cave we have a whole bunch of stalagmites that might reach up to the ceiling these are actually the stalagmites that do indeed come with the twilight pack you can go ahead and like color edit them to be like whatever you want but i really loved them just kind of whoops uh let's actually redo it there we go oh dear <laughs> uh okay Oh my gosh, there we go. But I love them just kind of looking like stone colored. And I put in a whole bunch more tables, as many as I could possibly fit over here. And we hired a backup chef. So we actually have a new chef, Cave Fruit Chef Sakura Stallion, who has been one of our members for quite some time. Uh, and it looks like she's getting traded off with our capable cave mushroom chef Ara. So glad to see that we're slowly but surely training these two quite a bit. Uh, where is she actually going to head for her relaxing spot? Oh, is she just gonna wander around? Are you telling me we could potentially have <laughs> an extra vending spot that she could she could keep herself busy at because i'm totally happy to hear that i would more than happily put down like i don't know a souvenir shop if we could oh speaking of which how's our mechanic research going <gasps> complete we have all of the twilight theme unlocked huzzah huzzah oh no protesters huzzah okay i don't want protesters <laughs> Um, let's go ahead, since we have a restaurant now, let's work on maybe souvenir shops. And then we have some vet research done too. For the flying fruit bats, all of the vet research is now done. So let's have Plague Dr. Ren start doing extra research on the raccoons and Renee on the giant burrowing cockroach. Uh, and then let's check in. My fruit bats! What's wrong with their... What What's wrong with my fruit bats that they need like our, our tender loving care and them to be okay what's going on with the i mean the scenery rating is a hundred percent for these guys what's wrong with my fruit bats legitimately like everybody seems happy so who alert five i mean some are pregnant are we are we literally protesting like like, oh, are we protesting the cleanliness again? I really need to grab whoever that is. I mean, everybody seems happy. <laughs> why would we need, why would our, our little fruit bats need any attention? Maybe we could add more to their layout? <gasps> Look, we can do more perching ropes and frames and boxes for them. Oh, I love that. I cannot wait for the amazing day. Yeah, everybody's happy, so the fruit bats are fine. However, we need to grab bat expert Colleen and maybe go ahead and train them a little better because like they've been having a hard time keeping up with all of these bats. What is this? What is this? This is not allowed. There is no litter allowed over here. Where is one of my trash panda whisperer librarian is way over here because the caretakers really can wander further than you'd like. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff over here. Holy canoodles! Librarian, I really need to like see if I can... Let's double check the bat zone. 
Oh dear. Like, let's keep you out of here. And we'll focus you, like, out of all of these. Okay, in another, in this work zone or another. Okay. So now we should keep you over on this side. And then we need to actually, into the wild wombat area, add in... Whoops. Okay. Oh dear. All right. These things right here. Thank you very much. Phew. And our fruit bats are continuing to have babies, which is great because it actually costs a lot of money <laughs> to build this cave cafe, but I thought it would probably pay off. And I actually put like seating outside so people could come and sit under this gigantic tree if they wanted to. Is our vending machine broken? No, we just finally are actually serving our guests with all of the like attention they wanted. Um, and these perches are so cool. Oh, this is so awesome, you guys. I'm so happy we were able to learn so much about the fruit bats too. Okay, so now that I have this cave built and maybe more of our guests will be able to get some of the, uh, the food and the drink that they want, let's actually see what else we can do to try to make these guys happy. And let's also work on getting in that new Himalayan black brown bear, I believe. I don't think this area right here is big enough to fit the Himalayan brown bear. Pretty darn sure. Yeah, if it's just a little bit bigger than the bat area, probably not. I'm still thinking this section might be really cool to put the Himalayan brown bear. Possibly. Especially if we can move this transformer and maybe make like a, a quicker way for people to kind of walk over here. Um. Wow, that, I mean, the slopes might make things a little tricky about that dream, though, if I'm completely honest. And having the brown bear maybe roam around over here might not be the best idea. Uh, let's see, maybe I could have her over here? Because I would like to pull more people in and make them happier on this side as well. And some of the challenges that we actually need to do are taking care of the Himalayan brown bear and having... Uh, four different exhibit species so we can work on that and I think it says like where does it say 12 different habitat species oh my gosh check the wombat he's dying of old age you guys oh check check he left behind two children friends in the end oh his weird little hiss call oh okay that wasn't as dramatic as as at times i have heard uh like the meerkats or, or excuse me the pangolins do you guys remember the dramatic pangolin deaths we had it was a little traumatic uh all right whoops okay let's come over and let's grab a memorial chuck is actually one of the first animals to ever have gone ahead and passed away here so i'm gonna go ahead and put in a little memorial for him all right hang in there chuck and I wonder where we should put it. Just on his fencing? That makes some sense. And then I wonder if there's anything, now that we've unlocked everything, too far for guest viewing. What about here? Okay, and now guests can go ahead and they can learn a little bit more in loving memory of Chak, the common wombat. Wow, I can edit like everything about him. And he finally did end up having a couple kids, by the way. Oh my gosh, and now my raccoons are dying of old age before we ever even had babies. Um, is this some kind of curse? Oh my gosh, and my bats are like freaking out again. I think they just need their, their stuff cleaned pretty frequently. Um, I never even, Ember has been trying, I didn't even get to name that, that, that raccoon. Ember has been trying to go ahead and she's been trying to find a mate for years. I feel like this is Ember's curse. Okay, this is clearly a sign that now that we're kind of on the ups with getting a little bit of money back, uh, we should go ahead and we should definitely take good care of... Okay, let's... I think I might be able to assign another keeper to this area now. All right, oh my gosh, especially because my poor keepers have to work so hard. I should move the door on this habitat, that's for sure. All right, let's get another, uh, let's go ahead and we are gonna desperately grab another raccoon. And I'm going to spend a little bit of time with our trash pandas today as well. Can I get a nice male for her? Legitimately, all of the males have horrible fertility. Um. 
and we probably would never end up with any babies from them. What am I gonna do? All right, clearly there is a solution. It may not be getting any of these, <laughs> it may not be getting any of these males to go ahead and spend time with our lovely raccoon, but instead we might spend some time trying to make her a little less lonely. Uh, okay, where is she? Oh my gosh, Emmer, I am so sorry. Your life is so hard right now. <laughs> I feel so bad for her because we have just like left her to the point where she is like hungry and lonely and her social group is empty. So let's actually learn a little bit more about the uh, raccoon social group now, my friends. <clears throat> So, social needs. In the wild, raccoons may live solitarily or in loose sex band fu fish and fusion groups depending on the feeding grounds, the availability of water sources, and overall population density. So in other words, the group size can be two to five with two males and three females. So we're going to go ahead. <laughs> and even though she's been trying forever to like find a, a, a good mate, let's go ahead and we're going to get Wynette. Wynette. Oh wait, there's a new male. No, there's not a new mail. I got distracted. Sorry. I got really hopeful for just a second there. All right. So let's go ahead and we'll adopt this raccoon and add her in here. And also one of the things about raccoons that I think is actually going to be very helpful for us is that they have interspecies bonuses with the striped skunk and the North American beaver. Don't mind if I do, because the skunk is definitely one of the animals we have not gone ahead and added in just yet. <gasps> Look at that! Oh my gosh! It's actually a male raccoon with good fertility! Ember, you may have your dream of becoming a mom after all! Oh, word, I am so excited. All right, so let's wiggle down here. And then let's also go to the striped skunk. There we go. We haven't checked these guys out at all. And they're kind of adorable. <laughs> Okay, so there is one male for 500 here. Let's grab him and then let's see if we can find... This female seems okay, but this one's definitely better. And this one is best. So those were a little expensive, but I think that the skunks will eventually like pay off, especially because we already have a habitat we can go ahead and put them in. Having this many animals makes me think we absolutely need to go ahead and edit where we have our door though so is that our new raccoon it is our new raccoon that's so exciting oh yay and our fruit pets are having more babies all right so now we have to do something spooky can i okay we got this door nobody has escaped everybody stay calm there's no need for for drama uh uh, uh, hello? I'm trying to- okay, thank goodness. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Wait, animal delivery abandoned? You can't just abandon the skunk here? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you can't just drop, like, a crate full of skunk in the middle of nowhere? Like, are you kidding me? Uh, also, I think that just made it a new habitat. Oh jeez. You move one door and everyone acts like you just, like, made the whole world explode for crying out loud. There we go. Like, calm down. I was trying to make it easier for you guys to be able to take care of them. <laughs> oh my gosh. And Sunflower the Red Fox is getting ready to mate again. Um, hang on really quickly. I need to check on these. Okay, yeah, they literally just abandoned my skunks in the middle of the path with everybody else around them. And they, they abandoned the male raccoon who was going to, like, make Ember so freaking happy. All right, and I need to do something about this transformer. While they're, you know, giving our animals where they need to go, uh, let's actually see if I can move this transformer somewhere. So I think we can actually move it, like, back behind here somewhere. And it'll be away from the guest. And still function, maybe? Can I do that? Alright, let's see if I can get this thing anywhere close to a trail. But that was driving me batty, like, having it... Okay. I can! Oh, 
Ooh, that's actually kind of creepy cool. I sort of like how we have to have this private little trail that our, our mechanic is gonna have to walk down. There we go. Also, what's going on in Jurassic World? Everybody's fine. Like, the cleanliness, I think, just catches up with Bat Expert Colleen now and then. Uh, but Bat Expert Colleen absolutely loves this job, which is fantastic. Okay, meanwhile... <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, all right. Oh, Ko is stressed. Hang in there, Ko. Okay, so Ko the fox is stressed. Uh, and by the way, our foxes actually had more babies. Oh, geez. They had a lot more babies. <laughs> While we weren't looking, we actually have Kaylin, Tim, Bruce, and Darren. This is the second set of four boys that we have actually gotten from these foxes. That is so funny. We're going to move all of them into, into the Animal Trade Center. And then meanwhile, Ko, the red fox, is calming down now that he's down inside of his spot. He's bonded to Sunflower. And Sunflower, are you expecting any new fox kits out of okay so she's still an adult she is not expecting any new fox kits but we just took her sons her second litter of sons another group of four out of here she's been playing in the water and at 10 years old is when she will reach sexual sterility she's only six but i think ko might be a little bit older than her He's nine. Okay, so he still has time before before he can't have any more fox cubs. And speaking of fox cubs, Bruce, Darren, Tim, and Kayleen, uh, Kaylin can all go ahead and we can find them some new homes, which is really awesome. Um, and I think we're going to go ahead. Yeah, no no gold, gold levels with them, unfortunately. Hmm. Should I potentially keep one of them? for like genetic diversity. But the only one I, I, the only other gold fox I have is like their uncle and also they're all males, so no. <laughs> all right, so I think we're going to do another quick trade because we need money to replace the money we spent with uh, the arrival of that restaurant. And also now that we have moved out that transformer, we can turn this section into a better, like exploration and walk zone that's kind of messy but you know what i'll take it for our guest so they can come and they can see the foxes or excuse me not the foxes they can come and they can see these striped skunks which i haven't even seen yet and the raccoons all right and then let's get in here and let's actually see what's going on with all of our all of our raccoons who are going to need like new names and our striped skunks hello Okay, gotta work on some of the habitat for a striped skunk, but <gasps> it's so cute! Oh my gosh! She's adorable! I love her! We're socializing with skunks, friends. This is what our raccoons needed. You were lonely, Ember. I wasn't able to provide you with a mate that could give you babies. No worries, I'm letting you socialize with skunks. I'm sure this isn't going to backfire in any way. <laughs> But let's go ahead and we are going to name this little one Zuzurai. And Zuzurai, I agree, we do indeed need a million foxes. And again, this is pulling up the names that you guys have actually left in the comments of our previous videos. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, Ember. That's what she thinks of our efforts. <laughs> oh my gosh! And Wayne Nettie is already pregnant. I actually love that name. She's already, oh my gosh, just rubbing it in Ember's face. Why don't ya? Uh, and meanwhile, Soothly, I've got to keep all the raccoon names. They're just, they're just amazing. But we can go ahead and rename, did I get two female skunks? Did I, I got two female skunks. Untitled Bird. That's a hilarious name for our skunk. And, and can I get one male skunk, please? I can't believe I was just so excited like looking at all of the stats like ooh, so-and-so has a good thing all right look we're gonna go ahead and adopt this rescue skunk please don't abandon my skunks on the way here this time oh ooh, vet research done yes I can actually like squiggle some of the vet research around I think we're gonna switch from the brewing cockroach to the striped skunk thank you very much mechanic research 
Yay, souvenir shops. I could have little like the witch's hat, like hat shop. Oh my gosh, that would be so cute. And look at how many more people we're starting to get. I'm really pleased with this. Okay, so all of this in place, friends. I think we're making a little bit of progress, except for the fact that our skunks are very unhappy. So we're socializing with skunks. I think they're very shy. We'll have to see if maybe adding in some things so they can hide, maybe even a burrow. Do skunks use burrows? Potentially could make their lives a lot better. Phew. Okay. Well, I'm really proud of our cave. I, I have to say, so excited to have skunks. I'm super, super, super proud about the cave restaurant that I built. I'm so proud that it is just like pulling people in all the time. I even had a whole bunch of the prices go up on everything and we're making bank on this stuff. We've already served 337 customers and more is coming. Uh, looks too busy. So literally like we just need to have Village Cauldron Brewer, Kiara. We just need to train our, our service staff to the nth degree over here. And I think that's going to help us out. But all right, so thank you guys so much for joining me on this adventure. Holy moly, like our little village is really growing. If you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. What on earth is that noise? Is that the sound skunks make? Wait, why are you injured? Oh my gosh, was that the sound of like fighting skunks? <laughs> What just happened here? Oh my word. All right. We have to get to the bottom of this skunky mystery next time. Oh, bye-bye.